Hi Church and welcome to uh, this devotion on my mission and uh, looking at what our mission is individually and as a church and how we're reaching our communities. I'm really excited to share with you today. My name's Laura, I oversee our Audacious Foundation and uh, we've got some incredible team and volunteers who are really making an impact in our communities. The Bible verse that I'd love to share with you today is Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 31. The NIV version says this, one of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked them, of all the commandments, which is the most important? And Jesus replied, the most important one is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbour as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And I wonder today, have you ever heard of the expression making a mountain out of a molehill? I remember my parents used to say it so often and I can't remember what I must have been doing for them to um, say that to me. But quite often uh, I, I recognise that I'm, I'm making a mountain out of a molehill uh, in uh, different things, especially I find when it comes to doing a task that I really don't want to do. I build it up in my mind, make it feel uh, huge, put it off for weeks and weeks and then when I finally come to it, I realise that actually uh, it was quite manageable, it was quite small and uh, I could have uh, really done it uh, a long time ago. So um, there are times when I feel like I'm at complexifying something which is actually uh, very simple. And uh, I think for um, us as believers that we can often do that when it comes to outworking our missions. We can complexify what God is calling us to do. We can, um, uh, we can struggle to understand specifically um, what God wants us to do in uh, a particular season. Uh, but I just want to bring uh, a bit of relief and encouragement to you today that actually what Jesus is asking from us is not uh, complex, it's not intellectual, um, it's not difficult to uh, discover, it's actually very simple. He sums it up for us in two commands. He says this, love God and love other people. Our mission really is as simple as that. We don't need a five-year plan, we don't need uh, some kind of a, um, complex strategy. All we need to do to walk in obedience to God and to outwork the, his mission for our lives is to love him and to love other people. And uh, so I want to bring some encouragement, uh, two very practical things that you can do today to make sure that you've got those things in place. The first thing for me really is this, if I am going to love God with all of my heart, my soul and my mind, as the Bible tells us to do, then I need to make sure that I'm spending deliberate time in his word, reading the Bible daily. You can do that on your phone, you can do that with a, a coffee in the morning, on your way to work, uh, on uh, Audible or listening to it, um, uh, listening to the word of God but whatever way it is make sure that you're getting into the word of God and that you're uh, praying and I, and I believe that those two things will continue to um, develop a hunger in you to love God more and more. You might not know this but we have an online prayer community that meets every weekday 7am to pray together and so if you need some encouragement um, to uh, pray more or to develop your prayer life you can join us online and you can find the links uh, on our website the second thing uh, is uh, to uh, serve others and uh, of course, there are loads of opportunities to serve others in church. You can join uh, a Sunday team. You can join one of our uh, amazing Audacious Foundation teams serving the community. And again, you can find that so easily online. But my encouragement really is to consider, um, have you got those things in place? Are you loving God and are you loving others? And what is the practical way that you're outworking that? And I'm convinced 
that uh, when we uh, um, are doing those things, that our lives are, are shining a light to others and we are being people of radical faith by simply following God's commands to love God and love others. It is really that simple. And so uh, I hope that that's been an encouragement for you today, church, and uh, just be blessed in whatever way you are outworking those things in your life, believing that God is working in you and through you for his glory.